Pinky, pinky. Credit card bills due, payment on the 9th of November. Yeah. And I uh, thought, oh, that looks a lot of money. <laughs> I don't remember spending that. I forgot because I put the auntie on it. <laughs> and the cat. <laughs> can't even know who can't get you. Money that's to pay it, so it's not a problem. It's just. <laughs> It just suddenly seemed to have shot up from the little bit that it was when we come back from holiday, where I'd not used it. Steve Wright's coming up with a big show. His guests are Ian McKellen, a non stop artist chosen by Dean Thomas for the cause. This is BBC Radio 2 online. So, when this records, do you then have to download it? But you'll delete all this. The last British resident to be held at Guantanamo Bay has been released and has arrived back in the UK. Shakaraba was imprisoned at the US military base 13 years ago after being detained in Afghanistan. He says he was doing charity work. Tom Simons is at Bigger Hill Airport. The private jet which carried Shaka armor from Guantanamo Bay landed just before 1 p.m. It's thought he was first to be taken for a medical assessment. He returns to the UK a free man. He has a British wife. And a Downing Street spokesman said that he would not be detained. Shaka Arba has never been charged and has always denied involvement with terrorism. He's talked recently of abiding by a contract with the UK to obey the rules of living seen here, that before. including any security measures needed. Yeah. His lawyers say he intends to campaign on behalf of those he says have been tortured. Talk Talk has said the amount of data accessed by hackers last week is significantly less than originally suspected. Said fewer than 1.2 million customer email addresses, names, and phone numbers were accessed, along with fewer than 21,000 bank account numbers and sort notes. The Greek Prime Minister uh, said Europe should be ashamed after more than 20 months. It's a bit wide in the middle, isn't it? More than half of them were told. Alexis Tsipras said the Aegean was washing up not just dead children, but very civilization. Turkish media said there were four children. Chancellor George Osborne has launched a new independent body to identify infrastructure projects which the government should invest. Speaking of the Rowling Museum, Mr. Osborne has moved into a new legacy of the future. I don't want the time when we built the greatest infrastructure in the world to be a footnote in the history books. That is not the National Infrastructure Commission. We looked back. It's a statement from our generation that says we are going to make the long term. We are going to leave the world. A prison official should reconsider where a transgender woman serves her sentence. Tara Hudson, who's 26, has a prison for a retired adult wife who was sent to a male prison. <coughs> <coughs> Friday 
30th of October 2015, live till 5, it's the big show, Steve Austin.